Welcome back to my channel. And yes, I'm wearing glasses. I don't want to talk about it, but here we go. I've got a new frame. This is from Speedy B. This will fit the O3 air unit. It is an X frame and no props will be in the shot. So I don't need a GoPro. And that's because this piece sticks out a little bit further uh, outside of the range of the propellers. So that way the prop should not get in the shot. It's got a heat transfer too for the O3 system to help keep it cool. It's got rubber mounts here for your stack your ESC and flight controller. So these features really appeal to me. It looks reasonably light and fairly simple to assemble. The instructions were very clear step by step. So this is actually my first build. I've got all the other parts that I need, like the stack. I also went with the Speedy B stack. I think this one's called the X7, F7 stack. I've even got a little 30 by 30 holder for my Nano Crossfire receiver. So I have everything set up. I'll probably run Crossfire with this. I have another O3 unit coming in. I've pretty much got all the parts that I need for this build. I've even got these little connectors here that I can put to just unplug the motors and quick swap the motors in case I fry them. I've got everything for this build ready to go except the motors and that's where things get a little bit complex and that's what today's video is about let me show you whoop this is my bind and fly this has the upside down front propellers and the standard rear propellers the way they should be don't ask this is to keep the props out of the shot yeah this is a 4s drone everything on this is pretty much built for 6s as well except the motors so the motors are 4s and i've been using 4s all the time i've actually never really flown 6s so if i put in a 4s battery it'll switch to the 4s profile if i put in a 6s battery it'll automatically de detect it and go to the 6s profile and that's how it's set up right now and i'm going out to test it with these these are the original 4s batteries that i've been flying for about two years these are trusty and i like them they're fun fly 1550 milliampere's by tattoo i love these batteries and i have two brand new success batteries as well this is my first time flying with success this is a full send by iFlight, 1300 milliampere's and this one at the bottom is the tattoo r line 1200 this tattoo 1200 is 150 c so it's supposed to have more punch and this full send is 130C, so a little bit more battery life and less punch. And this one has less battery life and more punch. So I'll compare these two 6S batteries to the existing 4S batteries on my Bind and Fly. And based on the results that I get from my flight today, I'll decide whether I should buy 4S motors or 6S motors for my new build. A lot of people swear by 6S. Yo, you, you fly it once, you could never go back. Well, let's head out in the field, fly these batteries and see if I will never go back or if I'll just stick with what I got. You ready? Let's take the upside down bind and fly into the field. <laughs>
Before I screams a lot more at top of the sticks when I push the throttle all the way up. The 6S I feel is more stable on the bottom end, but doesn't rev as much like the 4S does, doesn't go crazy on the top end. There was a lot of vibration, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I don't know if you could see it in the video after Rocksteady was applied, but this was vibrating a lot when I was flying, especially when I hit the tree, the vibrations got even worse, and that's because I broke my capacitor lead. And I'm thinking as a result, even more uh, vibra vibrations or interference got into the whole quad and the electronics because the capacitor is just not there anymore to do its job. I don't know. I don't know what I wanna do. I really don't know. I need to fly it some more, but I need to get this success tune right to the point where it's nice and, and, and not as much vibrations. I'll probably just use a stock tune, who knows? And the 4S, I like the way it flies already with the 4S. I just need some tuning to get out the prop wash and I should be fine. So yeah, my next build is definitely gonna be success. I'm jumping on the success bandwagon, but I'm not I'm not abandoning abandoning the 4S. I'll still be using 4S for this quad because I just like how it rips at the top and just screams through the air it's exciting and i feel like most of the power on this is at the bottom and then when you scream it out it just kind of tops out i don't know it's because my motors are throttled to 66 percent when it recognizes this battery i don't know i don't know what to do guys just keep it locked right here keep it posted let me know what you think i should do in the comment section because i sure as heck don't know what the hell to do so i'll probably have to fly some more do some more tuning either which way keep it locked right here i'll keep you guys posted i know a lot of you guys ask me well how do you take off and land with this upside down front motor configuration well you've seen it with that being said make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up make sure you hit subscribe so you get notified when i release more fpv videos and i will catch you guys well whenever i can make sure you become a patreon guys big benefits to patreon get direct access to me any questions i'm right here on patreon support this channel and there's benefits last mini 2 went all the way to the uk <laughs>